Hi, so this is Karcher K4 pressure washer with its uh, guts out. I've uh, I've already loosened these bolts off here, these four bolts diagonally with a six mil hex, Allen, whatever you want to call it. You want to have a ratchet on the end of it. I've already removed this. As you loosen it off, you can you have to slide this tang out, so that holds this this pipe in place. So once it's out, the pipe can pull clear and then it allows this to lift up. Um, I'm just gonna store it in there so I know where it is. And this is the, all the electrics. This is the switch. Uh, all isolated. Sort of thing. So what's wrong with this is when it was, water was flowing through it, there's actually water whizzing out of between here, under here, which is where the, um, this is, of course, I've already loosened this off. Um, and these are the pistons that, that go up and down. So I'll take the top off which as I say, I've already loosened because it's usually tightened right down. Bolts, let's make it safe. Always undo diagonally to take the, so the pressure kind of lifts off. Because actually what happened is the switch, the switch assembly, the switch inside stopped working. So we bought a new, a whole new, um, switch assembly so that, that got it running and then when it got running then saw all the um, pulsing and nonsense so also yeah I was gonna say when I um, when I took this apart I also coated these with a bit of copper slip I'll do a bit more actually on them when I put them back together so I was exposed to quite a lot of water and a bit of corrosion going on there so this now all lifts off and in here there should be lots of grease and there isn't much grease so I have um, now have some Karcher's own very expensive pet grease and we're going to slosh loads of that in there. So the other thing that happens is that with, with the um, the very top bit of the adapt, the uh, sort of connector bit off, it just unscrews off the top here and if you want to you can move this and this just jiggles off there and you can lift that bit comes off like that and um, this rubber seals uh, in here, three of them. They go down onto these uh, rubber seals there, and these pistons are then driven by um, this rotating. So it's on a was it elliptical, the right word anyway. It's off, you know, it goes it goes round like that, and that just basically pushes against these really heavy springs and pushes these pistons up and down. So my theory, I'm hoping, if I grease this up enough, put it all back together, it'll work work quite a lot of it into there. Now it's around the pistons that I think it's really, um, it's where the water's coming through. This is my theory anyway. So put a load in there. Uh, I'm thinking these pistons need some, don't they? That's done thing. Square a bit into there. I'm going to put a bit in each. There it goes, just one of the. There's not much only there. Um, and this is possibly because the water was leaking from here, it's possibly what did the switch in, you know, had more water. I mean, it's designed to sort of withstand water inside it, but um, I think it probably had a lot more than it's designed to do. So anyway, let's get loads of lovely grease in there. So when the piston's going, I forced up and down, the grease is gonna go all around them. Now, what I can see here, you see, so the grease is kind of going up that up that side, but not really anywhere else. So I'm gonna just squish the pistons up and down a bit, and then we'll pursue my theory and just massage them. And what I'm trying to do is see if the pistons come up if they're all covered in. See that one's sort of got against that one. Get in the frame. 
and it comes above. That one's got a little bit of grease on the actual piston itself, which I kind of like. I might just try and put this together and see what uh, if I've made any difference at all. I kind of certainly thrown a lot of grease around. That's the main thing. It's weird how this grease is so totally different than the. Um, you can see into there. That grease, the the, uh, the grease that's already there, is um, a very different colour to this white stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it onto the top of the piston, onto each of the pistons, thusly. Then. I'm just going to push the piston set up and down, and by doing that, I'm just pushing these bottom of the, the uh, pistons of the where they're sprung at the bottom there. And so everything is covered in grease, like, like you wouldn't believe. I don't think you want any grease in the actual chamber itself. Oh, and the other, there's another top tip. If you want to know which way around to locate this on the body, these two prongs sticking up are the ones that align. That's what the um, switch unit sits into. Right, I'm going to put this down. Go and get some, uh, take these gloves off and go and get some kitchen roll. So I'm going to go around uh, piston by piston. I'm just going to wipe. Wipe the grease off the top. It wants to be full of water, not grease. And then I'm going to just wipe the excess off the top of the casing. So the next person takes it apart and have to get. Curse my name. Okay, that around and it sits. You can see by the shape of the um, the bottom of the switch unit that it this goes that way around. So we put it that way around. Right. It's all. Lined up there, lined up there in the here. You want to hold this, you can see there's two, I don't know if you can see, <laughs> there's two little prongs down in, in there. Obviously, so as we tighten it, we're going to have to lift this out of the way to stop this catching. The bit where I push this pipe, and there you go. So the pipe now, when it's down a uh, low enough level, you can just push that pipe in. And when we tighten it up, we remember to put the clip back through there. I think it just needs to be put a sort of FT all the way around. Oops, I'm going to drop your little. That's super tight. Super tight, okay. So that's tight, tight, tight. That's gone in, back in nicely. We then get the clip and that just feeds into that just goes into there. It just pushes easily home like that all the way. That's done, that's all looking good back in place so now we can uh, reassemble it and test it so take two <laughs> it goes this way around with the switch unit on the right and this pipe sticking out on the left we go up to our casing and it's sort of pretty obvious that it lays where it lays because this pipe has to go there that has to go there he says it's supported there, and this mains. Ooh, so lift it up a bit. Come on, it's a bugger. We're going to put the 
mains kit. That's the other side of this. So make sure that this, the line of that switch there is aligned with our friend here. goes into the um don't waste your time with it so it goes in this way so it goes into the outer casing like that and then casing clicks to that and actually cleared all of the key bits at the top and the sides that's all that's good If you're happy with that, spin her over. Then get your um, eight um, 15 Torx 15s. Drop them down. Hand start all of them. Now I can't help but think. Six. Seven, eight. You don't need to undo these two, these hold the wheels on, so don't mess about with those. To tighten it all up, I'm going to attach it to a, put it on a very low torque setting, screw, low speed. And then we're going to just, we just twist these until you can feel it click and then Final touch is to put this boy back in place. Casing's all aligned, it's not sitting down okay. Pinch anyway, I'm gonna put this boy on, which is the reconnect the uh, the hose for Lance. Now actually, should I have done this before I did the casing up? Let's have a look. That's okay, it's just gonna click through. So I just I just do this up. This was hand tight, no hand, no tight hand tight. So goes in these um those bits of wire go around the sticky out bit so it goes in kind of that way there you go ah no look it's still leaking bugger 